Everybody seeks solutions to problems, don't they? It's a universal quest, a relentless pursuit to overcome the hurdles that keep us from experiencing true happiness. These obstacles, be they health issues, financial woes, relationship struggles, or business challenges, loom large, casting shadows over our ability to craft the lives we desire. But here's the thing. Just as every lock is made with a key, so too is every problem born with a solution. Imagine for a moment a world where locks were created without keys. It's absurd, right? Why would anyone make a lock without a key? Similarly, every challenge we face, no matter how insurmountable it seems, comes with a key to unlock its solution. At times, the key isn't visible. We may not know where it is or how to find it, yet it exists. Some problems can be directly solved, others require us to grow stronger to face them. This is the essence of the game of life. Consider the situation of a child born with special needs. This is a problem that cannot be undone or rewired. Yet, the key lies in our capacity to become stronger, to adapt, and to provide the love and care that such a child needs. It's not about changing the situation, but about changing ourselves to meet the demands of the situation. We all have a choice to run away or to face our problems head on. Happiness doesn't mean the absence of problems. In fact, many who smile and radiate joy do so despite their struggles. They have chosen to deal with their issues and then shift their focus to aspects of life that bring joy. When our attention is fixated solely on our problems, we become consumed by them. Emotional wounds, troubles, and difficulties dominate our thoughts, making happiness seem distant. However, by handling what we must and redirecting our focus to positive elements, we can make happiness happen. Happiness and problems coexist. The difference lies in our choice, whether we allow our problems to overshadow our lives or shift our attention to the joys that life also offers. Both exist simultaneously, and one doesn't negate the other. It's in this balance that we find the key to true happiness. Solving any problem typically involves a systematic approach. Here's a general framework you can use to tackle most problems. One, identify the problem. Clearly define the problem. Understand the problem's scope and constraints. Two, gather information. Collect all relevant data and information. Identify the resources available, time, tools, people. Three, analyze the problem. Break down the problem into smaller, manageable parts. Look for patterns or relationships in the data. Identify the root cause of the problem. Four, generate possible solutions. Brainstorm multiple solutions without judging them. Consider creative and unconventional approaches. Five, evaluate and select the best solution. Assess the feasibility, pros, and cons of each solution. Consider the resources, time, and impact of each solution. Select the most effective and efficient solution. Six, implement the solution. Develop a step-by-step -step action plan. Assign tasks and responsibilities if working in a team. Execute the plan, keeping track of progress. Seven, monitor and review. Continuously monitor the implementation. Collect feedback and measure results. Adjust the plan if necessary based on feedback and results. Eight, reflect and learn. After solving the problem, reflect on the process. Document what worked and what didn't. Use these insights for solving future problems.